Oh, sorry guys. I'm just playing this fantastic old pinball game. Look at this. Now, if some of you, if you're over 50 years of age, you may remember these games because these, this is like an Xbox for you younger people. This is an Xbox for old people. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. And, and, and it's pretty neat. This is called a skin diver's game, but that guy's got scuba gear on. I don't care what you say. He's got a big knife and fins and a two hose rig and, and, and he's an octopus and the, the obligatory shark, of course, squid, shipwreck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is definitely a skin diver game. And uh, you may not remember these, but you, it's really simple. There's a plunger down here, you see, that shoots a ball up, and the ball goes down and it catches, and, and each one of these little things has a, has a score. A certain, so you get 100 points for that, and 1,000 points for that. So what you try to do is you try to get it to land. Oh, right there, 4,000 points. <laughs> And then your buddy would take his shot, and, and you play this for 10 or 15 minutes, and then you start over. Yeah, exciting, huh? Yeah, like an Xbox, or better. You don't need to have uh, a, a internet or battery, anything at all. You can play this anywhere. As a matter of fact, when I say you can play it anywhere, okay, they actually have a mobile version. A mobile version. So <laughs> if you're not at home, you're in the back seat of the car, just like, can you play Xbox in the car, Kevin? I don't know. You see here? Same, same thing. See? A little steel balls at the bottom and they shoot up and they land up there and they shoot. And this is a skin diver's pinball game. There we go. 2,000 points. I'm winning, Kevin. You tip it down a little bit more and it goes right to the very top. Oh! 1,500 points, just like that. So there you go, guys. Just a couple of old games from the 50s. Now, it's kind of funny. You know, I mentioned this for a couple of reasons. First of all, these are old. They're interesting. If you're a skin diver or have a scuba museum or a vintage scuba collection, they certainly fit in, in, in into that category. But, uh, but interestingly, just recently, I saw, I'm searching for sea hunt items. I think you guys probably know that sea hunt is kind of my passion. I'm always watching for sea hunt items. So I'm watching for sea hunt items, and I see this advertisement. This is on eBay, I believe. On eBay, I see a listing for a sea hunt pinball machine. Well, I know about a Sea Hunt pinball machine. I have one, a real pinball machine made by Outlight in 72, and you, you play real pinball on it. It's like, what the heck is that all about? So I go to the listing, and sure enough, it's one of these. It's, it, it's not this one. It's a new one, <laughs> a brand spanking new, made last week. It comes from Argentina. Yeah, and it's just like this. It says Sea Hunt on it and so on. So there's some fellow down there who is... is a, I don't know, he's trying to make a few dollars, and he knows that Sea Hunt is pretty popular, and Vintage Scuba is pretty popular, so he's had one of these made up at some local factory, printed Sea Hunt on it, and he's selling it. It is not Sea Hunt memorabilia, trust me. Anything made in 2018 is not Sea Hunt memorabilia, but it's a cute little game anyway. These are genuine. These are old, 50 to 60 years old, perfect condition. You can actually play them as I was just doing, and I'll finish up my game in a minute as soon as you finish it. I, w I, wanted to, I wanted to point out one more thing. There are lots of little bits and pieces and toys like this. This is one you may not have seen. Ah, uh, right. Go into your local uh, scuba diving store, or probably more likely your local Walmart, and try to find a Batman mask and snorkel. You see the mask? Can you see the mask there, Kevin, with the horns? <laughs> I guess they're ears, not horns. And the, and the Batman snorkel down there as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the ring on the snorkel. Yeah. Batman mask and snorkel. From, uh, this is from the 70s, I believe. When did Batman come out? I guess it was before that. And anyway, this is from the 70s. So, hey, listen, we had a lot of fun when we were scuba divers in the old days. You know, it just wasn't uh, diving and so on. We had other fun things to do as well. And there's a couple of things from the past. Hope you enjoyed that. You'll probably never see these anywhere else. I'd like to share these things with you. I'll have some more. Thanks for watching. Alec Pierce, Vintage Scuba.